you've been through, why you got scars Since you walked through the door, I've been trying to reach you Cause I feel you What's the story to tell, what's the story behind The mountain you're trying to climb, think I've heard Welcome back to the channel or if you are brand new here and this is the very first time you ever see me What's up? I am Jen. I share all things health and wellness here on the channel Anything I do to level up my own life I share with you guys in hopes to inspire and motivate you to do the same So if that sounds like your jam make sure to subscribe before we jump into today's video All right guys, we have another crock pot video coming at you This is a true dump and go crock pot video All of the meals are super easy dump them in set it and forget about it Which we absolutely love like I said in my last crock pot video, which you guys absolutely love That's why I'm bringing you another one. I plan to have more in the future so make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss out on any of the videos as they post but like I said in the last crock pot video I swear having crock pot meals ready to rock and roll is like pre tracking setting yourself up for success it just makes nightlife and night routine dinner all of that just so much easier and makes for awesome leftovers and is always delicious and just yummy and comforting this time of year and macro friendly meals in the crock pot are even more of a win-win right and so we have four of them for you today so without a ton of gabbing let's go ahead and jump into the video we've got some boneless skinless chicken breasts here a can of the Campbell's French onion soup some onion soup mix buttery steakhouse seasoning garlic powder and one onion that I've chopped up here I already have my chicken in the crock pot we're literally just gonna dump everything right on top and put it on low and let it cook for probably about five six hours and then I'll show you the next step Added a little bit of water just to rinse the can out and add that in there. Now we're going to pop this baby on low and let it cook. All right, guys, we have some awesome, yummy smelling dinner ready to rock and roll. It's actually been in here a little bit longer because we just got home. But now I am getting ready to pop some cheese on there. You can use whatever kind of cheese you want. I have some low-fat mozzarella cheese here from Aldi's. I'm just going to pop it over the top. Let it sit about 10 minutes till it's nice and melty. And I'll show you when we plate it up. My level of excitement for this awesome dinner is unmatched. I made real homemade mashed potatoes, which guys I don't think I've made in like years at this point I always do the Yukon gold mashed potatoes from Sam's Club, which I love has awesome macros quick and convenient But we decided to go in with some real homemade mashed potatoes today paired it with some green beans and this awesome French onion chicken I will pop the macros up on the screen here and I will report back on how it is but it is smelling absolutely delicious all right guys I probably don't need to throw this one in this video but I feel like I can't post it because it's just one of my most favorite easy go-to recipes that you throw in the crock pot that you can make all year long I mean any recipe obviously in the crock pot you can make all year long but this is like a go-to super easy one because all you need is boneless skinless chicken breasts and seasonings I have my boneless skinless chicken breasts in there and to it I threw on some Kinder's ranch seasoning some Kinder's taco blend seasoning and some Trader Joe's chili lime seasoning and we are going to have shredded chicken tacos couldn't be easier chicken in there my chickens even frozen I didn't take it out Popped it right in there, threw the seasonings on top, put it on low for eight hours, and dinner will be ready to rock and roll when we get back from trick-or-treating. Okay, when we got back from trick-or-treating, it was super late. We were all dead tired, and we just threw our chicken tacos together. Thank God for an easy crock pot meal. Super easy to shred up, throw on your tacos. We had hard shell tacos this night with some shredded lettuce, some nacho cheese, sour cream. Awesome, macro-friendly, hands down the easiest crock pot meal and the easiest taco Tuesday, and it makes for awesome leftovers as well. Next up, we're gonna be making some beef and broccoli. I am super pumped for this because I love beef and broccoli. I have never made this in the crock pot before, so fingers crossed that it turns out good. I have a couple different meats here. I have some beef bottom round steak for stir fry. I got two packs of that, and then I have one sirloin steak tips because I wasn't sure what was gonna be best in this. I always like struggle with like stir fry meat and stuff. Just it coming out right, all of that. You guys let me know down below if you guys have that same struggle. But I actually ordered two of each of these in the grocery haul. They only gave me one in the grocery haul. They were out of stock or something. So, But still, I'm going to use all three of these. I was going to make two separate things. But I decided to go ahead and just put it all in one and make a ton so that we have a lot of leftovers. And then I'll see which meat that I like better out of it. So I'll keep you guys posted on that. But we are going to be using both of these stir-fry steak tips. Then I've got two bags of broccoli florets. 
which we'll be dumping in at the end. And then I have all the yummy seasonings that we're getting ready to mix up. I have Batia Complete Seasoning, Worcestershire, Coconut Aminos, Jihu Sugar-Free Teriyaki Marinade, some minced garlic, Better Than Bouillon Beef Base, Ginger, and then we've got some Truvia Brown Sugar here. So we're going to go ahead and just get this all dumped in there. We're going to dump the meat, all the seasonings right on top, and then we won't add the broccoli florets till a bit later. Got all the meat nice and coated with the sauce. Now I'm just going to pop this baby on low for four to six hours. Or if you're in a crunch for time, you could do high two to three hours. I haven't made this before, so I'm just going to check like the consistency of the meat and the doneness and all of that about four hours and see if I need to leave it on a little longer. And I will show you guys the process as we go. All right, this is cooked for, I guess, about five and a half hours now. I really could have added the broccoli in already because it was done. It's just continued to cook and get really tender. Now I'm going to add the broccoli in and cook it for about 30 more minutes. Crackpot beef and broccoli is done and smelling delicious. Definitely left it in there too long. We ended up going to my niece's birthday and it was in the crock pot for a little longer than I would have liked. The meat is super tender and just falling apart. It's still going to be delicious, but I would definitely cook it a little bit less, probably four hours or so, and then add the broccoli in there and let it cook a little bit more and that would be perfect. But I just paired it with some white rice there. This entire plate is 361 calories, 44 grams of protein, 30 carbs, and 8 fat. Without the rice, just for the beef and broccoli, it's 276 calories, 42 grams of protein, 11 carbs, and 8 fat. Next up, we have some honey, garlic, chicken, and sweet potatoes. I already have my chicken in the crock pot. I have 51 ounces of the boneless, skinless chicken breast. I get the frozen members mark, 10 pound bag. It makes life super easy. Just pull out exactly Exactly what I need toss it in the crock pot and we're good to go here I have my sweet potatoes cut up and my onions measured that out and then to it we are going to be tossing in some buttery steakhouse kinder seasoning some honey some minced garlic and then some garlic powder we're gonna dump all this in there together and pop it on low tossed it all around and I'm just going to put this on low for about six hours. All right guys it's been cooking low and slow all day and these babies are nice and tender and it is smelling delicious and fogging up the camera. I'll show you when I plate it up. Dinner is ready to rock and roll. It doesn't look the absolute prettiest but it smells delicious and I've already tasted it and it tastes bomb. I've paired it with some seasoned mixed greens. I've shown you guys these a ton of times. They're super good. Margaret Holmes, only Winn-Dixie and Walmart by me sell them. But if you can find them, they're delicious. Macros are 30 calories a serving, which is a half cup and two grams protein. This entire plate is 302 calories, 40 grams of protein, 29 carbs, and five fat. Just for the honey garlic chicken and sweet potatoes, it's 272 calories, 38 grams of protein, 24 carbs, and four fat. All right guys, so that'll do it for this crock pot video. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys try any of these and you love them, let me know down below or post a picture and tag me on any of the social medias. If you aren't following me on Instagram, check me out over there at and with Jen. I would love to see you guys killing it in the kitchen with all your crock pot yumminess also and if you have any awesome crock pot meals that you are loving right now drop them down below so that we can all keep it fun and spicy in the kitchen and keep these crock pot meals rolling and making our life easier right especially this time of year we're all super busy holidays coming up having the crock pot there so you don't have to think about dinner you don't have to be in the kitchen slaving for hours with all these million ingredients and cooking and steps and all of that just throw it all in the crock pot forget about it and you're ready to rock and roll for the night so i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you aren't already subscribed make sure to do that before you leave so you don't miss out on any of the videos I post here every Tuesday and Thursday. Also, if you guys missed my last full day of eating video, one, go check it out. Two, I asked for questions for a Q&A that I'm going to be filming. I asked on Instagram too and in the community tab. Everywhere I'm collecting questions from anywhere about everything. Anything you guys want to know about lifestyle, nutrition, working out, goals, coaching, it, absolutely anything you guys want to know, drop them down below and that video will be coming next week. I post videos every Tuesday and Thursday, so make sure that you guys are looking out 
out for them. I hope you guys are all out there crushing it today. I hope this video helped you. If it did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Share it with anybody else you think it may be helpful to. And I appreciate you all so very much. And I will catch you all in next week's video. Mm -hmm.